Hi there. Uh, this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about batteries and tell, show you guys a little something that I designed and built for my own droid. Um, about a year ago, uh, I did a lot of research into batteries, uh, and I came to the conclusion that for me, uh, I was going to start with a pair of uh, 12 volt, 10 amp hour uh, LifePo batteries um, that would be connected in series to give me 24 volts, 10 amp hours. Uh, the reason I picked these is they're relatively small, they're pretty lightweight, these weigh less than three pounds each. Um, a lot lighter than a lead cell battery and not nearly as volatile as a lipo battery. Uh, I'm not really ready to take the dive into lipo batteries at this point. So for me, the life pose actually worked out really pretty well. Uh, but one of the things that the battery design does not include, and it makes sense because there's a ton of different battery options out there, is any real way to mount the batteries in the droid. Uh, so one of the things that I had to do was come up with a battery tray that would work for my batteries. Uh, also keeping in mind that I'm going to start out with just a pair of these batteries to give me 24 volts, 10 amp hours, but I have a feeling I'm going to want to double that and connect four batteries in parallel and series to give me 24 volts, 20 amp hours. So what I wanted to do was design a battery tray that would work for two batteries as well as four without having to reprint the whole thing. Um, and this is basically what I came up with. Um, these are the uh, ankle support bars that uh, are attached to the ankle support at the bottom of the body. Um, and that seemed the logical place for me to mount my uh, battery tray. I did need to modify the longer one here. Uh, I just modified it to add a couple of captive uh, nuts and a couple of holes there for my mounting points. Um, and then what I designed was I designed this tray that would sit right over top of them uh, and is the size to accommodate four batteries. But I also, I, but I designed a, a two battery cage uh, and I could also just take this cage off and put on a four battery cage um, you know, when I decide to uh, expand to four batteries. Uh, this basically holds the batteries really well, um, although one improvement that I am going to make is I am going to also create a rigid bar to go over the top of these. It will drop down on the sides and I will have some thumb screws on the side just to hold the batteries in um, to make sure that they're securely held in place. Uh, but this was my first real foray into Fusion 360 and using it to uh, model and design some parts. and. Gotta say, it was frustrating at first, uh, but eventually I managed to get where I wanted to be. Um, once these are actually done and finalized, I'd be happy to share the print files with anyone, provided you're going with the same batteries. Obviously, a lot of people are going to use different batteries, uh, so this will not necessarily work for everyone. But I thought I'd share a little bit of what I did and some of the lessons that I learned. Um, so first of all, tolerances are, are tricky to, to work out. Um, these are M4 bolts that go in there, but it was trial and error to find out exactly what size I had to make the actual holes in order to get the uh, bolts to fit in there freely. Same with the captive nuts. Um, making sure that these joints uh, were nice and tight, but not too tight, uh, took a few trials. So what I ended up doing was printing some test sections of the model. Uh, I actually split the, the base. I also have it available as a dovetailed two-parter. Um, for people with smaller print beds, although I haven't figured out how I would split the larger piece. Uh, but it took several tries to get the dovetail joint to work correctly. Um, and then also the cage part itself, um, I designed that to be printed upside down, so it doesn't require any supports. Uh, by having these inverted triangles, it prints fine without supports. Um, you can have the captive nuts. Actually, this doesn't have the captive nuts, but it does have the holes. And I'll eventually add uh, another hole and a, uh, an angled slot for a captive nut uh, for the retaining bar. Uh, another thing that I've been working on um, with some mixed results is I'm still working a little bit on my shoulder hubs. Um, I mentioned on my blog um, that I did get some chrome tape. Um, the stuff wasn't particularly cheap, but at least there's plenty of it. And it's the one part of my droid that I actually would like to have kind of a shiny chrome appearance, even though you only see a little bit of it. Um, 
for the most part, this was working pretty well. However, I have noticed, uh, if you can see along some of the areas there, um, we're getting, at least I'm getting a, a wrinkling along the edge. And I have a feeling that's because uh, the surface is crowned a little bit in the middle. Uh, so I think what I need to do is uh, take this tape off, mark on here where I need to flatten it out a bit more and uh, sand it down a bit more flat and see if, it get, if I can get better results. Uh, when it's in there, half of one side of this actually is going to be obscured by the body. Um, but I do want to make sure that it's on as, as good as I can. And I align the seam where the bottom of the shoulder is going to be on the body. So that really won't be seen. I think if I can get this to work, it'll look pretty sweet. Uh, the other shoulder is actually much worse off. Uh, it's got a lot more of the wrinkling along the edges. Uh, so it's just going to be a tedious process to try and get that worked out. But uh, overall, I'm really pleased with how this battery tray turned out. Um, I actually had it installed in uh, R2 for a little bit, just to make sure that everything fits. The nice thing too, with these holes, you still have access to the screws that hold the center leg on. Uh, you still have access to all the bolts that hold this onto place. Um, and it's, it's actually a, a pretty, I think it's a pretty smart design. So um, anyway, just thought I would share. Uh, hope everyone else's build is going well, and I'll update you as I make more progress. Bye.